welcome friends so today we are going to learn parts of brain lungs stomach and the liver let the video start hello friends welcome to the video and today we are going to learn the brain lungs stomach and the liver with me santi so this is the the human body part 2 so please like and subscribe the video and subscribe my channel also that it can go to other people and and join my discord it is the link in the description thank you let's start okay now let's start with the brain you can see here the picture of the brain uh, you can can you guess what is the brain of made up it is like a shape of a walnut so the brain has four lobes and you can see the rinky parts on which the lobes are that is called the cerebrum so why are there they are they, these are wrinkles here so the wrinkles are here the to increase the space of your cerebrum so why to increase the space of cerebrum more space is equal to more intelligence so the wrinkles contain more neutrons than the cerebrum the part neutrons are the uh, cells that boost intelligence so now let's come on the first lobe the first lobe is frontal lobe you can see it in the yellow color it is present on a forehead and the brain has two sides one side is left half and second side is right half now let's come on the frontal lobe here you can see the frontal lobe now what are the functions of the frontal lobe the function the frontal lobe controls problem solving intellectual activities controls it controls attention judgment behavior and muscle movement now let's test your frontal lobe firstly raise up your right hand oh very good you raised up so your frontal lobe is working good now let's come the second lobe that is parietal lobe you can see here it is bit smaller than the frontal lobe what the parietal lobe controls the parietal lobe controls pain pressure touch visual functions so when you get hurt it hurt by something like you pinch yourself very hard so you get hurt you put yourself with a pain do you get hurt so the parietal lobe tells about that it also controls pressure touch and visual functions like reading sentences reading books etc now let's come on the temporal lobe which is the third lobe it it do not controls the more but it only controls your function visual and auditory memory like it it stores your memory in it now the last lobe and the fourth lobe is the occipital lobe so let's come on the occipital lobe you can see the occipital lobe is here the occipital lobe helps in recognition of colors you know what three color these are these are green red and purple movements like you can see my pen moving and words now let's come on the cerebrum cerebrum is also called small brain controls posture balance and allowing us to move properly now what is this structure built here it is the cerebellum so what is the cerebellum yeah the cerebellum is that that is a very important part of the brain and it controls posture balance and allowing us to move properly now let us read you a fact in older times people who were thief doctor used to take out their frontal lobe oh so that is fact now let's come on the lungs who here you can see the lungs this is a picture of the lungs so the air enters from here and then it is a trachea or you can send it wind pipe and goes into the lungs lungs are two air filled bags so the trachea have 
two uh, divided into branches uh, called brocantis so brocantis have two parts so the the, the left brocantis and right brocantis left brocantis go in the left rung and right brocantis go in the right rung now here you can see the uh, right rung is bigger than the left rung but how as left rung has given some of his room to the heart now you know about the lungs also now let's come on the stomach so you all know that stomach is a very vital part of the body it helps us to it is a very vital part of the digestive system it can it digests juices so let's now start with the parts of stomach this is the food pipe this is the stomach in which the food is crushed and stored and this is the large intestine and small intestine and this is the rectum and this is the pancreas so how do stomach do it first the you feed the eat go come in, come in a food pipe and then the stomach crushes it as smaller as it can be absorbed by the blood stream and i don't know about pancreas as it is complicated and then the stomach send uh, it in the large uh, uh, send it the food to the blood stream and then no pancreas send the food into the blood stream and then large and the, and the waste food goes to the large intestine and the small intestine and finally to the rectum and we throw it from the rectum so now let's come come on the liver here you can see the liver so the liver is a chemical factory of a body it it control it is responsible for chemicals entering in our body not so not very not chemicals like some poison etc it controls chemicals like acid in that stomach acid of acidity and etc you also know the liver is the largest internal organ oh it's an impressive fact so friends please like and subscribe my video and my channel also to get more videos like this bye bye have a nice day stay home stay safe